Hello there everyone and welcome to my channel, Time to Cook. I am Chef Christy. Okay guys, today is a pretty special day because I have made homemade, better than your Chinese restaurant, egg rolls. Now I've actually made two different kinds for you today. I have a battle going on of fried versus baked and I'm going to show you how to make them either way. Now these are so good, they're so fresh and crispy, crunchy, like you would expect for an egg roll. And no matter if you fry them or bake them, you're going to love them. They are so, so good. But I'm excited to show you how to make these either way. Um, of course, the traditional way is to fry them. That's the way you get them when you go to a Chinese restaurant. But if you want to go a little bit lighter of a version, then you can bake them and you're still going to, you're still going to love them. All right, so let's get started so that I can show you how to make these delicious egg rolls. But just a quick reminder to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you want to know as soon as I upload new delicious recipes. Okay, guys, here are all the ingredients that you will need to make your delicious egg rolls. Let me go over them with you. Okay, so you will need your egg roll wraps. And you can find these in the produce section of your grocery store. I'm using one pound of ground chicken, but you could also use ground pork or even ground beef if you prefer. Three cups of a shredded cabbage, and then one cup of these matchstick carrots. And I got these already pre-cut, makes things a lot easier. Three cloves of garlic, and then a fourth of a cup of green onion, two tablespoons of soy sauce, and then one tablespoon of a sesame oil. Into a large skillet, I'm gonna add my oil. I'm just mincing my garlic using my garlic press. Then I'm going to add my ground chicken. And my soy sauce. And I'm just going to let this cook for a few minutes until that uh, chicken is completely cooked through. All right, so my chicken is just about completely cooked and I'm just going to go ahead and add my cabbage and my carrots and green onion. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and add just maybe about a half of a cup of water. And then I'm going to cover this and let this cook for maybe just about five minutes just to that cabbage uh, will break down and most of that uh, liquid is cooked out. Okay, and I am going to go ahead and add just a little bit of salt. All right, so this is what we are looking for. The cabbage is nice and soft and most of that liquid has cooked out. All right, so I'm actually going to put my filling back into this bowl that I have my cabbage in. Okay, this is so easy and I have my little station set up here. I do want to mention that I have about a half of a cup of water and I'm going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch to this water and this is gonna be our glue, so to speak, to kind of glue those uh, egg roll, the egg wrapper together. Okay, so now that that is done, I'm just gonna take my egg roll wrapper and I'm gonna place it on the counter in front of me in the diamond shape. Uh, I'll show you a close up here in a second. And then I'm just gonna take some of my filling and I'm going to place it at the one end Then I'm just going to fold and roll. Tucking in kind of like a burrito. And then this is when I get my cornstarch and go around the seams. Okay, and it looks just like that. I'm gonna do a close up and show you exactly what I just did. Okay, so you just wanna place your wrapper in front of you like this. Then place some of the filling inside. Then fold up the one corner. Fold in the edges, kind of like a burrito. 
and then roll. And when you get to this point, this is when you want to add some of that cornstarch water and then fold it back over. And again, kind of dab that water around the, the seam. And there you go, it kind of looks like an envelope. Okay, to fry my egg rolls, I have a cast iron skillet with some vegetable oil and I'm just gonna drop those egg rolls in that hot oil and let them fry until they're nice and golden and crispy. And then to bake my egg rolls, I have a sheet tray here that I've lined with aluminum foil and then I have a cooling rack here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to spray this rack with some nonstick spray Place my egg roll on the, the cooling rack and then I'm just going to bake these in the oven at 450 degrees until they are golden and crispy. Okay, once they're nice and golden brown, I'm just going to remove them and place them on a plate here that I have uh, put some paper towels on just to absorb the excess grease. Okay, I've got to give both of these a try. And you can just dip them in your favorite, your favorite dipping sauce. Mm. Well, the fried is good. Definitely has a nice crunch. Mm -hmm. Okay, now to give the baked one a try. Listen, that is really good. Now I'm gonna be honest, it's not as crispy and crunchy as the fried one, but it still does have a nice crunch to it and I really don't miss it. Plus I feel better because it's not deep fried, it's baked. So I'm thinking that these are, <laughs> these are the way to go. Especially if you are trying to cut some calories and, and fat out of your diet. Give the baked one a try. Okay, well I hope that you all enjoyed seeing how to make these delicious egg rolls. Have a fantastic day and as always, I will see you soon with more recipes.